Well, does that one count as not blanking? Oh well, shall we get on? Couldn't write it, could you? I've come down to the mighty Chesil Beach this week and <laughs> Danny's shore fishing or Danny's dog fix, dogfish fishing. You couldn't ride, could you? Six hour drive to catch dogfish <laughs> and spider crabs. Oh well, getting back. See what else we've got coming up. Well, here we are. And welcome back to uh, Danny's short fishing. Um, go away a little bit with that dogfish. Well, I'm actually at the moment down at Chisel Beach. It's Monday the 30th of May, 2022. And um, yeah, I'm actually at West Bexington. Well, I hadn't actually planned to fish tonight, but um, there's a family next to me, and the fellow's a really nice fella. He was chatting away. I originally planned to travel down. Uh, traffic was absolutely murder. He said three hours twenty minutes when I left the drive, and um, it took me almost six hours to get here. M25 was a standstill. It was murder on the M3. Coming through the New Forest was just a train of traffic going for miles. So the plan originally was I was going to have a look at West Bexington, I was going to have a look at Abbotsbury and then go down to Portland End and um, I think that one's actually called Chesil Beach Car Park I think. Um, I was just going to have a look around, have a coffee, something to eat and uh, bed down for the night and just or sort of decide which where I was going to fish and bed down for the night get up in the morning but when I had a look at where I am at West Bexington this fellow next to me started chatting he's, he's here mackerel fishing really he had, had a bit of a chat he's had some uh, bait rods in the water as well because the mackerel fishing is really slow apparently so by the sounds of it he's just been stripped with uh, crabs he's not heavily in the fishing he's He's just trying something out of boredom, I think. But uh, nice enough fella, so, so I thought we well, It's not dark yet, this was about, about 8 o'clock ish, pretty much high tide. And I thought, oh, well, sorry, it's, it's certainly safe enough down here, especially this fella next to me. There's another one quite just up from me. We'll say just up, I think it's about 400 yards away. Um, so I thought why not, so I got the rods out, I put a 3 up flapper out to begin with, with some uh, frozen blacks to the skin, and just to get a bait in the water and sorted myself out a little bit, and I put um, a straightforward pulley rig on with a fair size tiger prong on it, and uh, the flapper had been in there for a while, so I thought, best bring that in, check that. And that was stripped completely. There wasn't a bit of worm left on any of the hooks. And um, so I put a bit of bluey on and chuck that out. I changed the rig, I put another pulley on that, chuck that out. And I pulled the tiger prong in, and um, that felt a bit heavy. No kickback on it at all. So I was thinking maybe weed, there was a little bit of weed I pulled in, pulled in earlier. And it turned out to be that spider crab that you've probably seen already. Um, which uh, the fellow next to me is at. Uh, real chuffed with that. Um, yeah, and then I had a bit of a pull down, so happy days, see what this one is. And Sure enough, 
um, dogfish. Come back, so I think it's not quite so it was bound on 80 miles from me. Um, they catch dogfish up in the corner. But no, it's still good to see. Fish is a fish, so I'm, as you know, I'm, I'm quite happy catching dogfish. So the plan for me at the moment is to see how it goes tonight. Um, see if there's any, any other fish about. With the crabs in there earlier on, I wasn't expecting too much to be honest. But then I was going to sort of... I mean the car park of West Bexons does say no overnight sleeping. Perhaps it might be a bit cheeky if I sleep during the day instead. But um, I mean, a fellow next to me comes down here. I mean, he's not from around here. I think he comes from Birmingham. He, uh, he comes down for a week every year. Just catch a lot of mackerel and take him back home. He, uh, he says he's never had any issues with a car park and at all. His car sits there for a whole week and I've never seen um, but yeah, probably see see what happens fishing wise. If uh, if it's quiet and I just get the feeling it's going to be, and perhaps in the morning I might take a drive down to. Um, I won't go to Abbot's Bree because I've been there before. Um, no try something different so I don't really want to go back there. So I'll probably take a drive down to Portland end and uh, I'm more than likely to have a kip in the van uh, and I'm not going to bother with any alarms or anything like that I'll just wake up when I do and uh, then I'll try that end see if that's fishing any better. I've got no plans at all, no times or when I'm going to go home or it's just purely down to the fishing. Well, the, other, the other thing is obviously um, I've got a cool bag that is full to the brim of freezer blocks with a bait in it. But uh, it's not, really, not going to take long for that to thaw out and start chucking up. And if the van starts stinking, then I'm not going to want to stay, stay out in that too long. So, uh, it might be the fact that I've run out of decent bait. That might make the drum a bit earlier. Not sure yet, we'll just, just play it by ear, see how we get on. I mean, if these rods start going mad in a minute and we start getting some decent fish, then uh, then I'll stay here. I'll, um, the fellow next to me has already said if you want to leave your gear up and go back to the van and have a couple of those kids, so follow me. Apparently, he's, I mean, he's got big tents out and uh, with a break all around it and a load of fishing rods in front of him. And he leaves all that there and goes up the shop. He's never had any problems, no one ever tries to take anything. He's never lost anything. But, um, not sure I'd be too happy about leaving my gear out for that, for that long. But there's enough room in the van. The better one side and the gear on the other. The rods and shell on that, all that goes under the bed quite easily. So there's plenty of room, so I'll probably um, pack up in the morning or maybe before, depending on I think the sun's due up about four in the morning, so I might fish till the daylight and um, then go back to the van and have a kit. And like I say, it completely depends on how it fishes as to whether I try somewhere else tomorrow. If he's fishing well, then there's no need to go anywhere else, but I'll be honest, it's very slow tonight, so I had the crab and the dogfish, 
probably about an hour and a half gap in between. Uh, I've had the dogfish now probably an hour ago. So it is quiet. I've forgotten me uh, tripod torch. So I'm struggling to see the rods to be honest. I've got these beach lights set on them so I can just see the tips. Can't see much with this camera light shining in my face to be honest but these have got good um, good drag on it on these reels and make a lot of noise so if anything pulls any line out I'll certainly know about it. Um, but I did forget a few things, I forgot the light, I forgot my sleeping bag which I was absolutely gutted about. Um, I forgot the fold up chair, but I've still got my box on that. But um, yeah, so that's the plan for the next day or so. If Chisel Beach a go. I'm not expecting great things to be honest, I don't know the beach at all. Um, but when I fished Ab Abbotsbury a couple of years ago, I just mainly had wine. Um, I was quite pleased that towards the end of the night I did manage to pull in a really good conga. I didn't wait, I mean I was on my own when I first pulled in and thought, oh my god, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> but, um, yeah, that would have been double figures, but I've got a T-bar um, and I managed to, I only pulled it literally out of the water, I managed to get the hook out. And, uh, pointed him and pushed him back down the steep shingle and into the water and away he went. But I did think to begin with, obviously being on, on your own, bloody great anaconda come out come out of the water. What the bloody hell did we do with that? Oh, I don't want to get flies. Can't wait. Um, yeah, so... I'll stick it here for a while and then, as I say, I'll probably go to Portland. Oh, oh, I've got another bite. There you go, that's what, I mean. what fishing's all about. Win some, you lose some. I don't dress it up, it is what it is. So I've just left that where it is for now. Hopefully whatever that was come back for. I didn't bother spinning around because it is pitch black, you wouldn't have seen it. So, uh, I made a coffee. I've got my little cooker with me, my little kettle. I might have a pot, but pot level in a moment for breakfast. Or Tennessee. Well, will that do me for now? We'll turn this light off and go blind. And I will catch up with you in a little while. Give you an update. And uh, hopefully, have some good news and good fish. But it's a lovely night, it was raining over when I got here, it hit very heavy. And, um, so I did sit in the van for a while, I had a coffee. Um, and it stopped raining, so I thought, right, jump out there while I can. And uh, touch wood, we've had no rain since. It's forecast to rain again in the morning though. But I'm hoping I'm going to be lucky with the weather again. And, uh, when the sun comes up, if I pack up in the daylight, get everything back in the van. And hopefully I'll uh, miss the rain. But I've got a shell, I've got a gear, I've got my coat, I've got my leggings if I need them. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too much of a problem when it does rain. 
Just a lot more comfortable if, 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 uh, if it's not raining, obviously. But, right, we'll get this lot off, drink my coffee, and I'll uh, catch up in a bit. Well, morning all. It's about... Um, it's about quarter past one now. Low tide was uh, about 10 to 1-ish, I think. It's been very quiet, I've had no bites at all since the last one. We're changing the baits every half hour, and they're not coming back spit. At the moment, they're just coming back the same way as they went out. So it's ever so quiet at the moment, so... Um, I think I'm going to leave this session there for now kettle boiling. It's starting to get pretty cold. Um, and I hadn't really planned on doing night fishing. I was uh, I planned more for day fishing so I haven't really got I've got the fairways I normally wear if I come night fishing. Um, so I'm starting to get a little bit cold to be honest. So I think I'm going to um, call that a night for this one. So I've got the cap on again, so I'm going to have a coffee and I'm going to pack the gear away, chuck it in the van and uh, try and get some sleep. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit these videos, but I'll do one for each session. It's all pretty slow and rubbish like this one. I might put all together, I'm not sure yet. But uh, for this one in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. Only Vern. Thanks for all the subscribers. And um, stay safe, everyone. But for now, I'll leave you and I'll see you again real soon.